Hello and welcome to a new video about measurement. We are talking about the operational amplifier. This time we want to talk about what an ideal operational amplifier would have for properties. Yeah? What are the properties for an ideal operational amplifiers and why we are where we are not meeting it. Yeah? I will just make a list. Yeah? So an ideal operational amplifier would mean the differential gain yeah? differential gain so the gain of the differential voltage is unlimited yeah? always unlimited yeah? then we have the common gain zero Huh? Common voltage will be gained with zero, no output from common voltage. Huh? Then we would have powerless control. This means output can go up to UB, huh? plus minus UB, can, can be done. Huh? Then the input input resistance the input resistance ri is unlimited so there is no current rushing into our our operational amplifier yeah? and the output output resistance ro is zero ohms yeah? so there is no output this also means the output is not load sensitive. Yeah? Sensitive. It's not load sensitive. This means I can drain whatever amperes I want to have from the output. Does not really matter. <laughs> Does not really matter. And we are frequency independent. Frequency does not matter. Does not matter. Okay? Frequency does not matter. Whatever I can gain, uh, DC, I can say AC, I can gain 1000 Hz AC, I can say million Hz AC, I can gain 10 Hz AC and whatever. Okay? So, that's, that's how, how it looks like. Well, and how with this differential gain, how I can achieve Again, simply, yeah? let's assume we have an inverted, inverted mode. Yeah? And here I am the ground. And whatever differential voltage would result here in the output, which is simply UB. Yeah? How is this working? Well, in this case, we make it like that. Yeah. Here is the input. Here is another resistance. I have here a resistance R1, I have here a resistance R2. Yeah. And the, the trick now is the trick now is that here this UD equals zero. Yeah? This is zero because the output voltage UO yeah, will reach a value which is high enough to bring this to zero. Yeah? Here we have UI. Yeah? So with an ideal operational amplifier where the output can be loaded and unloaded and whatever and the output is the output resistance is zero and the input resistance is 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 uh, unlimited i can say whatever current is running here this current is running here so and if this is to zero volts i have here practically u1 yeah this is ui u1 equals ui because i have a zero and so the current 
it is not going in there because we have input resistance unlimited there yeah, it will go up here and here we have u2 equals minus u output okay and with the with here this this equals r1 multiplied by r I and this equals R2 multiplied by I and then I realize it just it's just about the, the ratio of the two resistors. This will make my gain factor of my whole of my whole application, not just the, the operational amplifier, right? The operational amplifier we assumed it's ideal. Huh? Hello. Yeah? So it's working. It's working with clever surroundings yeah? I can achieve much more than I can add voltage I can summarize as I can summarize I can subtract voltage I can multiply voltage I can integrate I can different there are a lot of things I don't want to, to to mention them all now but I just want to give you an impression even with those in first moment I mean the gain factor unlimited what is this is this stupid or what no it's not yeah so now we are independent, we are only depending on the output, uh, or the out, output, uh, on the surroundings, yeah? on, the, on the switch, on the, on, the, on the things surrounded the operational amplifier. Yeah? <sighs> Frequency does not matter. Well, here we usually have, at a real amplifier, we have usually very high gain factors. Yeah? Here, common mode. I already mentioned common mode rejection. This is part of the of the data sheet. You can look into how it's not zero, it's compared relatively slow. Yeah? Powerless control is also not realized. We'll stay a little bit below the supply voltage with the output. I've also mentioned this, I think, in the first video about the operational amplifier. Yeah. Input resistance is very high. Here we're very good, very close to the ideal world. Output resistance zero, mm, yeah, not really met, but okay. With the usual drains of, of, of current, I would say okay. Yeah. Uh, so the output is a little bit load sensitive. Frequency does not matter. Well, this is not true. Yeah. So usually we have we have an an upper and the lower lower frequency. If you read in the data sheet, is where the output is lowered by three dB. Yeah, three decibel, three decibel lower than it should be. All right, three decibel lower than it should be, then it's the upper or lower border frequency. Okay, it's the limit frequency. Border. Grenzfrequenz in German. Yeah. So, if we would have a signal looking like that, yeah, I will draw now a signal. Yeah. This is the signal, how it really should look like after the, after the operational amplifier, it should like the same, but gained. Eh? So if we, are, if we are in between those frequencies, these this limit frequencies, it should, like, it should look like that. That would be ideal. Eh? If we are below the up the the uh, or above the the upper limit frequency yeah? it would look like that look like that 
here we will not this this deep things we will not see it will probably look like that that we will this is somehow rounded if you see things like that happening yeah then this means frequency is too high above the upper limit okay if it looking another way if you see things like that yeah that, that we are going up here whoop and then woo, dropping here we're going up poof and dropping here yeah we're going up tuck yeah must not go tuck <laughs> but you know this this deepness these deep things they will stay how they are yeah here it should also What does this mean? This means frequency is too low. Yeah? Below lower limit. Then you would see such spikes. Yeah? Because in you can imagine in, in very steep areas there is a high frequency inside, this is okay, this will be transferred, and where the frequency is low, this will not be transferred very well. Eh? So actually, I have to keep in mind that in dynamic situations, I have to stay between the upper and lower frequency of the, of the operational amplifier. Eh? So, that's operational amplifier. I think we have we have talked a lot about it. Yeah? Next time we are briefly talking about other amplifiers. Yeah? There will have a bunch of other amplifiers. Uh, what, is, what are the possibilities? What different amplifier types we have got? I will explain in next video. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.